How's it going, Eliminators? Today, we're gonna to be looking at the difference between mulching blades on a 48 inch fabricated steel deck compared to a 48 inch stamp steel deck on a Husqvarna YTH model riding lawnmower. So with that being said, let's get right into it. So in front of me, I have a Husqvarna YTH 24V 48LS riding lawnmower here with a fabricated 48 inch mower deck. Model number for this unit is right there, 960-4800-1402. This was the riding mower that I did the PTO clutch replacement on and showed you guys the video of that cool pin disconnector tool that I used to help me change over those plastic connectors. Today's video though is going to be on mulching blades specifically which ones work and which ones don't because for some reason I had a heck of a time finding the proper mulching blades for this riding mower. So when you look for an IPL for this mower and you use the product number, which is what you're supposed to do, you're not supposed to use the model itself because the product number will always identify which mower deck you have. And in the case of this riding lawnmower, you guys can see we have what's known as a fabricated mower deck. This is one that's been welded together and is made with much thicker, stronger steel. An example of a stamped steel deck would be something like this, where they basically just take sheet metal and then they have two dies and then they press them together to form this mower deck into the shape you see now. Now the difference between a fabricated mower deck and a stamped mower deck is quite obvious. These fabricated decks here are made with much thicker steel, so they don't rot out as easily. So you can load them up with grass. You still have to scrape them and maintain them, but nowhere near as much as you do with the thinner metal on the stamped steel deck. However, one of the big issues that you really don't notice until you try to source blades is that the stamped steel deck and the fabricated steel deck for this particular mower has the same outside dimensions for uh, length and width. However, because this is made with thicker steel, the inside dimensions of the length and the width of this mower deck are smaller, which means for the fabricated mower deck, you have to use a shorter blade. And we found that the blades that were installed were actually high lift blades. And that was not proper because this mower does have a mulch plug. So you can actually buy a mulching kit for both the stamped and fabricated steel decks. Basically it's a cover here. And then there's some pieces that get inserted inside of the deck to close the area around the blade so that when you install a mulching blade, it creates more of a vortex for the grass to get basically cut over and over again, which is what gives you that mulching effect. Now, when looking at the IPL, if you go down to number 10 there, like I said, that was gonna be a high lift blade, which we don't wanna use for this particular mower because it does have a mulching kit installed. But when you run the part number for that high lift blade, you end up getting a length of 16 and a quarter and it does have a five point star. And this here is the OEM number for the high lift blades, 539-113-425. Now normally to get these blades, because I order so many parts from them, I normally just enter that part number into Stens, and then Stens will give me a list of all kinds of blades that will work for this lawnmower. They would list high lift blades, medium lift blades, mulching blades, even sand blades if they had them. But for this particular mower, that wasn't the case. They only listed the high lift blade. So I called Husqvarna to find the proper mulching blades. So I had made a call to Husqvarna. I told them that I had a 48 inch fabricated steel deck that had the mulch plug installed and they supplied me with a part number and that part number for the mulching blade was a 532-173-921. Unfortunately, what I didn't realize at the time was their internal IPL for some reason always linked back to the stamped steel deck. So as we can see here on this little eBay listing, the blades that they sourced me are these ones here. And you're going to notice something. This mulch plug is not for a fabricated steel deck. This is for a 48 inch stamped steel deck. And these blades will not work on the fabricated deck. So without realizing, I ordered some of these blades here and you guys are gonna notice that it says the length is 16 and 5 eighths of an inch, which is far too long for this particular mower. But I just thought that a little longer of a blade might come a little closer to the mower deck to help create that vortex because I wasn't aware that these blades wouldn't fit because I didn't have them in stock. So 
once I figured out that the 16 and 5 8 inch blades were wrong. And also the Oregon part number for their blades under that part number list as 16 and 11 16 So they're even a little bit longer than the Sten's 16 and 5 8 blades. I called Husqvarna back again and I placed an order for their OEM mulching blade. Once again, specifying that I had the 48 inch fabricated deck and they sent me the OEM blade instead of the aftermarket Sten's one. However, it was for the same part number. So unfortunately, now I have two sets of blades that were incorrect. I have the Sten's blades that were far too long, and I have the factory OEM mulching blades that were a little bit shorter, but still wouldn't fit. So the Sten's blades ended up coming in contact with the deck when I slowly rotated them around, and these OEM blades came in contact with each other when I turned them around to fit them. And again, those mulching blades are for the stamped mower deck with the mulching plug. And I'm basically doing the video just to point all this stuff out to help some of you guys if you ever have one of these come into your shop. So you're probably wondering, how did I determine which was the correct blade to use? Well, basically, I just typed in 16 and a quarter inch five point star mulching blade, and I had to go through all of Husqvarna's part numbers to find the correct blades. And I just wanted to show you the differences between the part numbers for the mulching kits. So to start things off, if you have the stamped steel deck, again, 48 inch, and you wanna run a mulch plug with the mulch blades, you're going to have to run the number 531309642. And again, Husqvarna 48 inch tractor mulch kit for the stamped mower deck. If you want to run the mulching kit for the fabricated deck, again, Husqvarna 48 inch mulch kit. This deck is normally installed on zero turn riding lawnmowers. However, you'll notice there is our model, YTH24V48LS. So here's your part number here, 539-113-341. And you can get the entire mulch kit with the proper 16 and a quarter inch five point star mulching blades. So like I said, I wanted to do this video to include all of this information because I did have a little bit of a headache dealing with this. Again, calls to Husqvarna, calls to Stens, calls to CPT, which is Canada Power Technology. They are what's known as a power distributor here in Ontario, Canada for Husqvarna parts. So I deal with them for technical support that I need. But once I figured out the differences between the fabricated mower deck and the stamped mower deck, I ended up coming up with these blades here. So I'll give you some part numbers now. If you guys are running the mulch kit on the fabricated 48 inch mower deck, again, 16 and a quarter inch, which is the same length as the high lift blades that come with this deck from the factory. And they do have the five point star. There's the thickness there. You guys are gonna notice that this is a straight blade and it does have the teeth on it. So this is what's referred to as like a Sten's Silver Streak blade, a Gator blade, Rotary, they call these the copper head blades. So the part number from Rotary is a 14208 and that's a pack of three. However, if you want to order the OEM mulching blades, which still have the cutouts, just like the copper head blades here, again, 16 and a quarter inch, the OEM Husqvarna part number is going to be a 522-037-401. And doing a quick Google search on those blades, you guys can see there's our part number there, Gator Blade. This is what it looks like, five point star, 16 and a quarter inch overall length. They are the toothed blades. And guess what? Right here on this one tractor website, it says Husqvarna 48 inch Gator Blade, which is for mulching. But this is the only website that specifies and puts a disclaimer it fits the 48 inch riding lawnmower with a fabricated mower deck. So there's your part number there guys. Not even Husqvarna has that disclaimer in their internal IPL system. So I just wanted to make this video quick to let you guys know that there is a difference and at least you guys won't have to go through this if you end up getting one of these mowers in. So I think what happened was when I called Husqvarna and they pulled up my product number, because again, you always wanna give them the product number, even though it comes up as the fabricated deck as the only deck with the high lift blades as the only blades, and that's the reason that I called them to find the part number for the mulching blade. For some reason, their internal IPL system or illustrated parts list system, when you type in mulch plug, for some reason, it refers back to the stamped deck mulch plug 
and it doesn't key up to the fabricated deck mulch plug, which normally they would have a second option. You would see it like over here and it would have its own part number and it would say mulch plug for the fabricated deck. So again, Husqvarna wasn't aware of that. Stens wasn't aware of that. So when I'm running these numbers into all these systems and buying these blades, they never actually specified. Now, first off, I did want to give a shout out to Stens because I ended up calling them. I explained the situation with Husqvarna giving me the improper blade number and they ended up fully refunding me, mainly because of what I'm about to show you here. So if we look at the product listing for the 350-458 high lift blade, you're gonna notice I've highlighted a few things here. The length is one of them, but mainly the disclaimer underneath the product listing that says you require three of these for a 48 inch deck. Keep in mind here that they make no mention whether it's a fabricated steel deck or a stamped steel deck like we've talked about. And you can also notice that it says it fits a YTH24. Now, if we switch over to the 340-091 mulching blade, you're gonna notice the same trend. It says requires three for a 48 inch deck, but once again, Stens does not specify whether that 48 inch deck is of a fabricated design or a stamped steel design. And that is what led to Stens giving me not only a full refund, but also a small credit on top for emailing them, providing them with this information, and also recommending what they could do, such as put that information down on the product listing to help prevent this from happening to customers who are making future purchases. I also wanted to give a shout out to Canada Power Technology. Like I said, it turns out there was just an internal IPL mix up where every time you searched for these mulching blades for the fabricated steel deck, they ended up giving you this part number for the stamp steel deck. Hopefully they have remedied that because I did speak with my Husqvarna rep at CPT there and they said that they would pass the information on so that the internal IPL could be updated. They did not refund me for these blades here. They ended up making what's known as a correction order. So I did get six of the proper 5220374401 at no cost. And then I have these, which I paid for that I can just keep in my inventory. As you guys can see, I do have six blades and that's because my customer wanted three of the blades installed and then he wanted another set of three for spares. So you could imagine how costly this was for me. I originally ordered six incorrect blades from Stens and then six incorrect blades from Canada Power Technology only to discover that both sets were wrong and I needed to get these ones shipped ASAP, which Canada Power Technology covered express shipping. The proper blades were shipped very quickly. My customer is happy now. So I'm gonna get these blades installed and I can get this riding mower out of here. Well, that's gonna be it for today's video. Not really a repair video, but I did wanna get this information out to the public just so that you guys know what blades to order. Maybe you do small engine repair, or maybe you're a consumer with one of these riding mowers and you wanna buy some blades. At least now you'll know the correct blades to order so you won't have to go through what I did. But with that being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, think about leaving me a thumbs up. You know, it really helps me out. You can click here to subscribe and click over here to watch one of my previous videos. I upload every single week. So be sure to stop on by next week, check channel out for new content, and as always guys, thanks for watching.